at our location of our newest sponsor on CorpusFishing.com, Bluff Bay Marina. My friend Tim Duncan is the manager. They're just getting set up. They're open, but they're uh, getting the bait and tackle and that sort of stuff situated. But they have got a nice facility over here with lots of dry storage, a good price on that. Check out their website at BluffBayMarina.com. Speaking of the bluff, we are in the bluff. If you want to come out here, you take Waldron like you're going to the NAS. Take a right on Jester. We're down the end of the road at 102 Jester, right by Philip Dimmitt Municipal Fishing Pier. That leads us to the Laguna Madre report. It's been tough fishing after about 11 o'clock in the morning because it gets so hot. Fish have been up on the flats, redfish. Uh, had some friends uh, looking for them today. They found them, but they couldn't get them to bite. That happens often with those in black drum. The uh, trout bite is off a little bit. It's so hot. But if you want to catch them, uh, try in those areas where you have water flow, like the areas behind the spoil islands where you have gaps between those and this wind from the southeast blows through there, funnels bait and water through there. It gives a current and lets the uh, trout have some air, oxygen, and uh, that deeper water there along the ICW will make things cooler for them. So try popping corks, gulps, uh, voodoo shrimp, shrimp, uh, live bait there, that should work for that. Down south, same thing, the land cut is where I would be if I were going way down south with that wind-driven current down there, it should be pretty good. On the beach, it was incredible. I went fishing several times last weekend on the National Seashore, a friend of ours from our website. Tony Cortez caught a 50-inch king mackerel from the second gut on a live finger mullet he caught there. He was actually going to fix a Moscow mule, his second, <laughs> and uh, caught that somewhere in the little shell. Anyway, it was an incredible weekend. Uh, we had a good time catching trout. Out. Last night south of Bob Hall Pier, I went fishing and the skipjacks owned the beach. You couldn't get a, a top water in there without twitching at once and having a skipjack, I mean a big skipjack after it. But earlier in the week and all week long we've been catching some trout in the surf early and late. Things are done by about 8.30 in the morning and then pick up about 7 to 9 or 7 to 8.30 in the evening and then it's over with. Bob Hall Pier, I spoke with them today. They had king mackerel earlier in the week, lots of them. Uh, several lost earlier. Now the uh, report was Spanish mackerel speckled trout. I did see a pompano and they also have a lot of small sharks around but the forecast for the weekend does not look bad at all. Windier for Sunday than tomorrow. Tomorrow a lot like today. Winds out of the southeast up to 15 to 20 but not too bad. Sunday gets a little bit rougher. It might be a better day to go out for snapper on Saturday if you're one of the ones that has the recreational boat big enough to handle two to three foot seas. Sunday gets a little bit rougher with two to four with a few fives thrown in there but for more information and if you want to post and look at pictures reports on corpusfishing.com. We'd love to have you. Have a great weekend.